So, let's flip the field to uh, try out some new LWPL8 blades. Wooden spar on my Berkey. Let's see if they're actually going to lift, and if they're strong enough, they may well explode in the air, which uh, that's true to the pudding. Miserable day, been, just had a rain squall come through. There's clouds up there, you can see the wind shot, and we've got some more rain on its way. See. So I'm going to try and uh, have one flight, see if they work. I'll post this whether it works or not because it'll be uh, if anybody giving it a try, like RT Adventures. I know he's, he's doing the same thing, you know, uh, but he's got carbon fiber in it, so he probably will work. And if they don't, well. Uh, they're going to go on a Berkey, but uh, my Berkey is not the field, so we don't have to So um, I sort of, sort of thought one night that the crane, the Tom Wright's crane fly, was about the same size, and it is within a centimetre or so length. Uh, they're just a lot, quite a bit wider. Um, so I put them on the crane fly. Uh, the thing here is that when I built the crane fly, I got it wrong, and I had a right rotating crane fly. So I have to use the center for that. I'm probably laugh about that. I printed these. First one I printed these with a right rotating, but I had a wrong with one of the doors. So these are left rotating, so I've had to swap the arms over. Hopefully this one will be about right, but we'll see. We'll see. But the crane is a nice, stable airframe to, to test them like this. Um, oh, The good thing about today is there's a fair bit of wind, a bit of a breeze, so should hopefully get a spin up. I did try them yesterday with next to no wind, and they didn't want to start spinning properly. They they got up to uh, about four or five hundred RPM, but I changed down here the uh, shims. So they've got a little bit more down um, so it's just checking the camera's actually switched on I couldn't remember. so I'm going to try those shims and if not I've printed some other ones with even more these are the bottom bit of the, the retainer part with even more negative in them so um, to hopefully get some spin up they should have technically a true minus one. So that's not minus one relative to the bottom of the profile. It's minus one relative to the datum line because I've drawn it in 3D CAD. So you get a zero. Okay, so they actually look as if they're pointed down at zero and they're now they look as if the nose is angled down. But uh, hey, let's see. I just hope if, to say if or when, if she does go and she doesn't go in the corn, all wet and I'll have to find enough. I don't even know what that is, some kind of salad. So I'm going to try and keep it in the club room bounds if I can. Anyway, let's see. First time I find the crane as well on my new uh, uh, jumper, but I've flown the jumper with several other models. So I'll put some dual rates on this one, half rate to start with. Oh, I haven't got my RPM. I need to measure the RPM out, you know. Okay, they're starting to spin a bit more as I'm gently taxiing very slowly. Whoa! Guess what, folks? They're actually in the air. With my 3D printed blades. Oh, it was painless, wasn't it? Wow. Okay. A bit out of trim. So that's to be expected, I suppose. There's, like I say, I've got... Uh, it needed some left trim and a little bit of left rudder. But... Uh, 
Yeah, okay, it's flying like a crane fly does. You can, well, I can hear that they're whistling. And they didn't shatter on spin up. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit with a with a grey background there, but okay, so now I'm gonna push the nose down. I'm on I've chopped the throttle and I'm pushing the nose down. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll put a little bit of throttle in just to touch down. Fine. But okay, today I know I've got to put the clip in there with the wind. Look at that wind. So um, I didn't check it before we come out, but I would guess that we've got about 15, maybe 22 litres of wind at the moment, which, as we all know, is a good for us spinning them up and flying them. That's flying downwind. Uh, oh, I've got an 1800 milliamp in there, so and this one is actually quite relatively heavy. I don't know if I've weighed that. Um, okay, now, in the interest of, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around, downwind, then I'm going to come into wind as high as I can and try and loop it above the field, because these blades are going to fail. I want them to fail now so that there's nobody around. I can go and pick the damage up, do the water shape. But I don't want something to go wrong when there's people around or whatever. So I'm going to push the nose down. And whee! Okay, she didn't quite loop, but she got round. Okay, and the blade didn't snap. Ah, I'm on sh... Oh, let me take it to the side there. Maybe win. Okay, I didn't have full throw in, so... Don't know if that was on camera, but that was a loop pretty much directly above my head. Not quite round, but... Now that's put in a bit of pressure on the blades, obviously to load say the last in the German word, I mean, that's, that's putting some load on the blade, and they didn't shut it, so it gives me a bit more confidence. But yeah, yeah, that's, uh, okay. Two left again, two ticks, but, oh, the, the crane's a fantastic design anyway. Nice high head, single function, uh, elevate, you know, nice long tail. But yeah, thanks Tom. I mean Tom unfortunately has passed away now, so rest in peace fella. Okay, throttle off again. Pull in the head back, put some throttle in. But I pretty much I mean there's nothing wrong with that touch down, was there? And see the way she span up there? I've got some more this to check to test, but see these are a, a test set of blades, a proof of Concept, I think. Boiling over by it. This works. And, uh. It's actually ridiculous size. These batteries that I'm using are pretty much shot for about five, six, seven years old. from spinning. I'm going to just stop them completely, if I can. I generally do this by pushing in down elevator, which causes down head, you know what I mean, which I can't. Or I pick the tail up, and if I clip the ground with them, they'll shatter. There we go, we've got to stop it. So I'm going to, um, well, first off, no cracks or anything in them. They're not probably balanced. Yeah, I, I did balance them, there's some lead in there, and uh, okay, got lead in the front, about five, six grams of chip weight. That one's got some lead in the root, that one's got some lead there. It's 
get the CGs about right, and they're about a tenth of a gram. So I'm going to have one more circuit. I just want to spin them up again. So around me. Bearing in mind that I don't have an um, elevator. So it's a bit more aggressive on the throttle this time. Oh, check that out. I actually went to open the throttle to accelerate and she just lifts took off on her own. Five, six, seven feet. But as I say, we've got quite a bit of today, so that's probably not representative of... So, um, the braids are about 45 grams each, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what the original as well, but the original Berkey blades, the wooden ones with a hardwood tip, were uh, only about 30 grams, so they're, they're, they're considerably heavier, 50% heavier than the original Berkey blades, with quite a bit of tip weight. Um, but wooden spar, LWPLA. Right, now that is full throttle and I'm not climbing and I'm not making much headway. Look at that, so I need to get around. Right, okay. No stupid fault, no timer, I don't know how long I'm flying. Okay, oh, one place, okay. So there you go folks, you get a crash test as well. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think you saw it was a half down, oh, tail as well. That's not half down with landing, own stupid fault. Wind like this, running out of steam. Uh, but, as you can see, oh. Having been successful. Thin, clean snap, blade. Yeah, clean snap, whatever. That, that, of course, is the beauty of uh, 3D printing is that I've got the file drawn. Uh, I've got problems with printing, but it's, 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 it's a printing fault in the print. Um, so now I've got the one, I'm not getting the tips on, obviously. Still a bit of work to do. But, uh, now I know at least that they're going to they're going to work and they're not going to disintegrate. I may actually um, I found a place where I can get carbon fibre because uh, of Corona. It's difficult getting Corona. We haven't got a model shop in the area anymore. It's all mail order and uh, Hobby King hasn't had any for a while. It's difficult, so that's why I went for the wood option because I had it there. Um, Initially, I was only using the wood as a pilot for the carbon fibre, but I ended up uh, deciding to use it to try. I mean, what's wood? Original carbon fibre, isn't it, really? Right, so one blade to reprint. So I'll stick back on and a servo to replace. 
at least the gearbox, because I've got several of those servos. Probably got a spare gearbox. Uh, success. Happy.